Oh man. Let's look at some TikTok. This is Instagram. This is the information highway. It's no more. And I talk to these heads, you know what I'm saying? These like older dudes that run companies. And it's hilarious to me. I only listen to people who are younger than me. These are the only people with ideas. You cannot give me any advice. (laughs) You can can support Donda. You can cut a check. You can help me build some infrastructure. But I have the ideas. No one older than me has a better idea than me because I'm me. I'm the most relevant voice on the planet Earth. So don't try to tell me anything. (laughs) Help me. (laughs) Help me. Help other people. This is Instagram. This is the... (laughs) <laughs> I, I, I get it I get it oh, Wait, It's funny because I just clicked something random But like I'm going to say this man Like I love Kanye But I understand what he's trying to say I feel like I always have to like decipher Like I have to take Kanye's words And be like You have to cut the shit out And then get the What, what the fuck he was The meat The meat You know what I mean Because the shit is just like Okay <laughs> Stop It's just He's just like ah. What he, I, I get it though. Like he's, the, I get what he's trying to say. He's like the older people. Like this, I'm not gonna lie. Like they I think this is much. the first time in like a long time where the older generation and the younger to mid generation is really on two different, two different planes. Two, not even just almost two different worlds. Like for instance, my parents don't use social media like that. They don't understand it. My pops tries to. My mom completely. Like if it's not the news, she's that's where she gets her information, and it's just like my mom doesn't understand the concept of like news, news trying to push a narrative. You know what I mean? It's like or or like like she gets it, but she's like I'm still gonna watch news. You know what I mean? She doesn't. She just will not go look for the answer elsewhere. You know what I mean? Like for instance, if somebody says today, uh, you gotta stop eating burger meat because it's cancerous. You're not gonna say that shit to me, and then I'm not gonna look it up. I'm gonna look it up on different sources because it's something I eat every day. Like, or I eat a lot. I need to go fucking find out. Like, what does this person say? Where is this science coming from? Where is my my parents won't do that. So I feel like there's a huge disconnect right now. I feel like more than ever, honestly, because technology, just so much information right on your phone, and so many like things that you can investigate and find information on. It's like, it's like younger people are becoming research specialists. Whereas like yeah. people before, like you'd be like, you ask an older person, like, well, this person said this, so that's what it is. You ever have like an older person tell you like, hey, this person's gay? <laughs> and you go your whole life thinking this person's gay just because somebody told you that shit? <laughs> that's, that's how, you know what I mean? But like, I get what you're saying. Like you know what I mean? uh, the old... Well, I mean, if you think about it, like the younger generation is a little bit more open. I, I, if you go to millennials and down, we're a little bit more open. There's yeah. a lot of things that we just kind of just don't, we don't listen. We're not obedient. Yeah. We're not blindly obedient. Yeah. We have to know more information before we submit to it. Yeah. We're not just taking your word for it. Like exactly. now we're questioning and that's, from like I millennials like that's down. Good. But if you look at Generation X and the boomers and baby boomers, they were taught blind obedience. Exactly. So it's just like, that's the generation they come from. And if you think about it, like we're the generation where that splits because we saw what it was like to not have technology and then we had it. Yeah. And like so we, we can see the we clear were, difference. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. They, they can't see it. Like we're seeing it. Like I have clients who are like twice, three times my age. Yeah. They hate, they hate anything to do with technology. They don't want to yeah. fill out an application online. Yeah. They don't want Give me paper and pen. Yeah. They don't, but like a lot of them are just have like this stuckness. Like they're just, they like things the way they were. They're very mechanical and they, it's like, this is, it's just straight cut and dry. I don't yeah. want, I don't want all that other stuff. Yeah. But our generation is a little bit more explorative and a little yeah. bit more curious. And we're just like, mm, I don't think so. Yeah. What, or it's just like, mm, or let I'm me. Gonna, I'm going to look that up. I'm going to look, right. Yeah. Google it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to see what that says. So we're just a little bit more open. And I think what Kanye is saying is like exactly that. Like a lot of the older generation, what? What can you tell me that I probably don't already know? Exactly. You get what I'm saying? A younger kid's a little bit more mad. Their imagination's wide open. They're like, all have all these wild concepts. Yeah. They're, they're into shit that we 
weren't. Yeah. So they're probably a little bit more innovative than a person older than him. Mm-hmm. I have something brewing up in my head right now. Right? What's that? What, so what I got from this, right? Um, you remember that analogy I had of uh, giving you with um, the gumbo mm-hmm. with the chefs in the kitchen? Mm-hmm. I think um, we're entering an age where it's a fast information highway Uh and instead of people relying on the anecdotal experiences we're looking more at statistics and what's actually fact and i think soon society is going to be able to hold a mirror up to themselves and we're going to figure out who has the best tasting gumbo facts like fact based like like if I have my 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 soup, right, and I'm a chef, I'm a and like this analogy is for artists that are making good art or bad art, because people are saying there's no such thing as bad art, right? You could like Soldier Boy, and I could like Kendrick Lamar, two different styles, but that can be your favorite rapper. Kendrick could be my favorite rapper. It doesn't necessarily mean either are bad. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Maybe she can even break that what, down into a science where it's like, maybe I'm just looking for things that are sonically good. But I, I think it's we're getting closer and closer and closer because whether we like it or not, the market is always going to be right mm-hmm. because they're the people buying the product. Yeah. And, um, and when you talk about the market, it's a mixture between who's buying the most shit and who's impacting the consumer the most, right? So um, with Kanye, it's like, okay, he's talking crazy. He's like arrogant. He's like talkative, blah, blah, blah. But do the results speak for itself? Is Kanye making the best soup as a creative chef? Yes. You get what I'm saying? He he made me listen to a gospel album, and I detest gospel music. When I look... Further into the future, right? Mm-hmm. I see computers making music off of algorithms. They're already doing that right now. Do you see what I mean? Like, there's literally an app that you can like. That can I want you to make a song about this, and it'll make a song for you. And and like I think when there's people when that people that. exactly mm-hmm. when people talk yeah. about soul music, that's gonna be almost like a real coveted sacred music because it was the last art form made by humans that actually I still don't think that it's gonna I don't think that's gonna replace human art for the simple fact that it's like a computer could generate something that's like formulated and based off of past things yeah there's still gonna be there's still innovative music it's not gonna create new music it won't be able to like how can it create something that has never been existed before that's that's true too but when you look at um what's on the radio now how how much Different innovation thing. are we really seeing i mean think about it bro like i i never thought that uh hip hop would be where it's at right now let's go back to is like, that because of innovation or is that because of um the consumers liking their candy though you know is it really because we're pushing through a creative barrier or is it because I we're so. we're having a, a soothe? So you you think the so you really think the music now is more innovative than um the type of music that was being created like in the nineties? I don't want to say more innovative. I just think it's uh like pushing boundaries and like yeah, getting music so. into the uh, next level. So when level. I say so, like, give me let, let me just. When I do say these, I don't mean like every rapper. This is just a, like like XX. X, I feel like even though he was taken from us too soon, I really have like I I, I believe that he was gonna do something different than pretty much anybody. Yeah. Drake, Kendrick, J Cole. I feel like their music is not. You couldn't find those types of rappers in the nineties. I feel like yeah, it was like yo Kendrick. People are gonna be upset with me saying this, yeah. right? Kendrick is a common. No. Kendrick is not a common? No. Common cannot hold a candle to Kendrick Lamar. I'm sorry. It's not just the context of what he's saying. It's how. The the intellectual... Yo, Kendrick Lamar does like mathematical equations inside the song. Inside of his yeah, songs. yeah, he does. Yeah, I, I know like, that. His, I know his that. brain is on a different. I, level. I'm, I'm talking about like really like um, 
com- cause he's just, he's like a common that is like more technically inclined. That's because it's the same type of, um, he's sonically better as well. Like, well, that's subjective. I get, but that's, that's what I'm he's, saying. He's, he's advanced. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's not. And, and like, I don't even want to break down artists and ripping, but it's like, yeah. you really think we've never seen a J Cole before? Really? Maybe J Cole. Maybe J Cole. I'm not gonna I front. Think he's, he's he's Drake. That's is something we never seen. We've before. Never seen before at all. And, and I'm not. Well. And I'm not sure if that's um, Drake is innovation. Drake is innovation. Every but I, I, but like but when when you think about it, right? Mm-hmm. All these rappers, how they look the same. How everybody got Lil in front of their, their name. How it's like a whole. Um, you know how Mortal Kombat, you have like the blue ninja and the green yeah, ninja and the yellow. They're, they're all just fucking variations they're, of yeah, they're, all, yeah. they're all ninjas. Yeah. And if they're not ninjas, they're Cyrax and fucking yeah. the, 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 <laughs> the red cyborg the cyborg. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? <laughs> so it, it's, it's like. Yeah, I get what you're saying with that. Before, like when you look at these Titans, Eminem, 50 Cent, Jay Z. But see, so, so, so here's. To, I get what you're saying. That's why I wanted to be clear. I wasn't talking about. The little pumps and the little yachties. I wasn't talking about them. I was so far thinking about like I, I. I hope there's a clear distinction between like little yachty and like X. Absolutely. There's a yeah, clear distinction. Yeah, there's a, there's yeah, okay. A clear so that's that's when I said that I was talking about artists like that. Like X, I'm like he was I, taking music. I never else. really like care. I'm not gonna say care. I never really put so much in a artist that was young because I I couldn't tell where it was gonna happen yet. That motherfucker right there was going to be special. He was. Well, when I look at the, this new generation, I, I see there's um there's a bunch of checkpoints and there's artists responsible for those checkpoints, right? So, so what do you think was responsible for X's checkpoints? X um came out um I don't remember the years, but he came out and he he let down the floodgates for all those Florida rappers, remember? He did, but he didn't. None of them sound like him. X was doing Yo, listen, scream rock. Listen, yeah, listen. <laughs> like all of those, like I get what you're saying uh-huh. because he was, he, it was like he was, um, like this little pocket opened up with like mosh pit music, right? But that style of da 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 da, yo, you da da, hey, da da da. Yeah, that, that's his commercial that, shit. That that's his commercial shit. But he's he was the artist. That was a checkpoint to push and innovate that style of music. Yeah. He was the only one doing no, that. Yeah. But that's I, what I'm saying before, you have so many different artists that were pushing the culture together. Uh-huh. Like, it's like X was like pushing that style of culture by his fucking self. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. That's what like, I'm saying. Like, if the innovation is done through checkpoints, I think another innovator was Pop Smoke. Yeah. Pop Smoke comes he, he out came, he and really he came out with that, th- with that style yeah, that, and then um, now everybody sound like they're everybody trying to sound yeah and now, now everybody <laughs> everybody sound like Batman yeah, and it's got them that's what, no that's what they call it the Batman voice yeah everybody yeah. everybody sound like they, they got the Gotham Possible. City yeah. but it's like, <laughs> like but that's what I'm saying like so like by you saying that you don't think it's gonna be much more innovative well, but, and so, but who's to say though well, like, we only have one superhero at a time now before we would have Titans to get the whole Avengers together. Do we you get what I'm saying? Now? Like, because like, like, think about it. You just so X Pop Drake, three totally different sounding artists. But they're pushing a, a what they they come when a new wave of style stylistic they, music style, yeah, is coming in. Yeah, they're checkpoints. Okay, you get what I'm saying? Like, so so then what? Like, so you think the computer is gonna just take over that? I think. um First, the human is going to re- be responsible for um, for what's impressionable to to the consumer, and then, it, and then it the computer is going to take over. That makes sense. So just like uh, the human would be pop smoke, and now all these niggas that is getting sturdy is taking over. But you know what I think is though also like that that's the, the computer can't do is like it's the artist that's interesting. It kind of like. Well, you can always create an avatar or an artist. It's not the like same. there's a movie called uh, uh, Bell that I just watched. It's an anime movie, and basically there's like this. You can go put your body or your consciousness into this universe, and it's like it's called you, and you create a different version of yourself. 
And she became, she was a, a mousy little girl from a small town that went through some shit and she couldn't sing anymore. Like just, she used to sing a lot. Now she enters this world and she creates an artist. Nobody knows who she is. It's a beautiful lady and she like becomes a pop star in the world. And I think that's kind of like where it's going to go with, especially but in the like end with of the day, it's still a person though. It's still a person, so, but I think you can create like you can create avatars. Yeah, I think that's to, a, to be an idea and then put a voice behind it. Yo, check this out, right? You know how um Stan Lee came out with Marvel, right? A very long time ago. Spider-Man was in a comic book ages ago. But we're in the year 2022, right right now, right? And that Spider-Man character has been um, reinterpolated many times to the to the yes. point where you can probably sit down with your grandfather and grandson and watch the same avatar that is Spider Man on screen. Mm-hmm. If you take that same idea and apply it to rap, it would be a computer making the music and an avatar like Bart Simpson. Bart Simpson, we it's we 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 familiarize him as it's a person. He's a fuck. He's a drawing. Mm-hmm with a personality that we attach to a drawing, yeah. you know? So if somebody makes a personality attached to a drawing with computer made music, we could be, we could be create attached. A, yeah. Create an artist it'll that's be, not a real it, artist. It would essentially be Spider-Man. But it's still somebody behind the creation But it's of that not person. the genuine person, it's a character. Yeah. <laughs> but but I'm, I'm com- it's a representation. Com- com- companies can make more money off of that because the person's not changing. You know, it's funny that you bring this up too. Remember I used to tell you like, yo, if I get too old doing music, I'm just going to wear a mask and create an avatar. I started to think of doing something like that. Like with, I knew there was going to be some type of merge between games and, vi- and music. Video games and music. Two things I'm, I'm like, in love with a smile. I would, I would do that. I would be brave. I, like that would make me brave enough to. I'm telling to you. Step so out. I, I had the idea. What my right before I stopped making music, I started thinking like, yo, you know what? I'm gonna learn how to do uh, coding and, and and craft up a uh, avatar of myself, like whatever I want it to be, and this is something I can pass down to my kids. So like. I carry like the gorillas. Like, say if the I gorillas, love the gorillas. The gorillas could have kept going and keep going and keep going. Yeah. And then pass their characters on to their kids. Right. And let them be the. It's just it's like a character that never dies. Right. So I think in the end of the day, like, yeah, those things can happen. But also, you got to understand, like, what's going on in the world. Like, like again, we say, like, uh, 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 art is reflective of, of, of reality. Right. Things need to happen in the world for new art to cut, to go happen. So, at the end of the day, like when those things do happen, how's the computer gonna like talk about like the experience of being? Well, have you black? have you ever heard of the like the AI? How they can like have you ever seen the videos of the AI where they're asking them questions? Mm-hmm. They give them like the they give them a, the ability to create thought. It's weird as hell, but like there was this one robot, I think her name was Janet and the guy's asking her questions and she's just like, she's just like answering them, but she's making up her own mind about them. That's crazy. So I think, I mean, if we think we're, we're talking about innovation and where the world's already going, it's all already technically inclined. Yeah. So it makes sense to have digital artists. Yeah, I guess that makes that sense. That aren't real people, but their ideas or concepts that we kind of attach ourselves to as artists. I think it's possible. It could be possible. I just don't think it's going to take over as, as like, I'm not listening to no more humans. I'm only listening to computers. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you never know. I don't know. They might, people might get tired of what's going on right now. And like, we just want something different. Could be. Could be. 